All right guys, I spent all day roasting coffee and now we're getting ready to run to the coffee shop to grind a bunch of these bags up. I have a grinder at home, but my grinder is not a commercial grinder and when I've got more than like three bags to grind up, I'll take it to where I work. So we're gonna grind it up there. Then we're gonna deliver it to Lightning Bug, but first, where are we going? McDonald's. McDonald's. They wanted to go to McDonald's, uh, but that's where we're gonna go because I gave them the choice. So yeah, let's go guys. What's going on guys? It is time for our run. We roasted all that coffee today, went to McDonald's, went to grind it, dropped it off, all of that good stuff, and now we are running. Uh, we got a mile and a half run today. I'm doing it right before dinner again. It's a little chilly outside, so I've got the, the buff to put up over my mouth so I don't breathe in all this cold air. And I uh, got the little jacket on. We'll see how long uh, I keep it on but I'm gonna start with it because it's a little chilly. We're gonna get this run in and uh, start in about 30 seconds. And then like always, we'll talk about it once we're done running and fill you guys in on just everything that's going on. So uh, yeah, let's get ready to go. guys we are done with that run a mile and a half is in the books Whew, I feel good I feel a little sore a little tired but overall I feel good we're back out here in the car this is like my my quiet space uh, you know with kids in the house and just TVs and people running around like this is where we come to get quiet it's where we come to get you know serious one-on-one -on -one, uh, about this run and uh, no distractions so uh, it was a good run it was a solid run. I actually felt pretty good the entire run my legs were a little sore but there's a reason for that uh, breathing overall was good it, it took a little bit you know getting used to breathing with something over my mouth but uh, we got it down and actually at the end I started to get a little warm uh, at the very end eat this little jacket started to get warm but I just I kept it on because we were so close to being done um, it's still not it's like it's that weird in between temp where you if you go outside and like a t-shirt and shorts it's a little chilly a little too cold at least at first to start the run um, but you know, this is just light enough that it's able to get me through these short, these short mile runs uh, and, and stay relatively nice and comfortable. Uh, towards a mile and a half, towards the end, it's starting to get a little warm, like I said. But I could take this off. It's got a pocket. I could stuff it in and a waist belt. I could actually wear it around my waist if I wasn't going to wear it. Um, if we were doing maybe even a two mile run or longer, I probably would have. But I definitely would have started with this. I would have been a little cold at first. But uh, we got it done. Um, 
You might be noticing that the first video for week seven says run number two. That was because the first run of the week on Sunday, I did not film for YouTube. Uh, I honestly, it was one of those runs, like I said in the last video, I was just putting it off, putting it off, putting it off. And I, I kind of compromised with myself, like, okay, go run, but you don't have to film this one to edit a video, but you still need to go run. So I ran, it was, I think it was just a mile run. It wasn't anything crazy. Uh, you could see the stats on Strava, they're there. And I took my cell phone with me because it was a shorter run. And I made a few Instagram stories to kind of document uh, that run. So that is why the first run of week seven says run number two. Uh, then we ran the two mile run. And that night I played basketball. Uh, we played about two and a half hours worth of basketball. Uh, it was just two teams. So we were basically running the whole time. Uh, the next day was Wednesday was a, a mile run or a mile and a half run scheduled. Uh, I postponed that one to Thursday uh, because I was a little sore. Thursday I woke up, I was really sore. My legs, you know, my, my butt, my arms from shooting, everything was just like, oh my gosh, like sore. So I ended up just like, okay, I'm not gonna run. We're gonna, you know, rest, have another rest day. Um, and then today, Friday, I felt good enough. We're like, let's go run and we had a solid run. I, I was happy about it. That's why week seven's videos are all over the place. There won't be as many as the previous weeks. But just to give you guys a heads up, if you're a little confused, like, wait, I missed a run somewhere. Uh, it was because one, I canceled one and one, I posted one straight to Instagram. Overall though, I'm happy with the progress we're making on Couch to 5K. I'm curious to see what week eight holds. Uh, we've been holding at two miles for the past two weeks, mile and a half and mile runs. I'm curious if coming up in week eight, because that means, guys, that means there's only going to be like three more weeks left if we're going to up it to two and a half miles. I don't, I don't know what the plan is. Um, I don't know what this Garmin app is doing, uh, but they're scheduling runs and we're doing it. And so far we're seeing progress, uh, which I'm, I'm excited for. All right, guys, I'm going to go inside, take this off, change, clean up. Get ready to eat some dinner. I hope you guys are having an awesome week. Uh, I would love to know what runs have you been doing? Uh, what training plans are you currently doing? Is there a run you're training for, a race you're training for, if the race is happening? Um, or is there just a distance you're trying to achieve? What are you guys doing uh, with your runs and in your running world? I'd, I'd love to hear from you guys on that. As always, guys, hit that thumbs up button. Leave a comment down below answering that question, what you guys are doing with your runs. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't and if you're curious to see how this journey is going to end. And as always, links are below for social media, Twitter, Instagram, Strava, and our Strava running group, the Husky Runners, is down below. I, I guys, I can't wait. I can't wait to, to keep going. I, like I said, you know, the last run, you know, some of the previous runs I've been kind of dreading, not so much the run itself, but just having to go and run. Um, today, I was excited for the run and I'm just excited for what's to come tomorrow. Saturday is a rest day. It's a busy day. Sunday though, we will get back after it. I'm so excited guys. Let's go guys. I'll see you guys in the next 